Alright, so in this video we're going to be removing this whole entire assembly. Uh, this is a 2020 RAM, starting 2019, 2500, 3500s, some of the 15s, 1500, not the classic models, they should have this system already. So we're going to start by pulling this little, this little tray out, it just pops out pretty much pretty easy. And then you're going to have two T20 Torx screws. Just take the screws out fully. All right, so once you take the two screws out, basically get a good grip on it and start pulling it towards yourself. This one wasn't removed before it looks like, so it's pretty hard to get the clips out, but eventually it starts popping out all around. It's held by these metal clips. It's kind of tough to get to every single plug on camera, so I'll do my best. Alright, so this one's pretty simple. Just pull this the screen. Climate control. The auxiliary switches on the bottom. Pretty simple. So this thing is pretty much held uh, by these clips all around once you get the two screws out. So I guess it's metal ones on top. Yeah, they're all metal. Or plastic. Yeah, they're plastic actually. Alright, so this is it. Alright, so now we're going to be removing this lower trim. So once you get the center infotainment system out, let's see if it'll pop that out. So it's all clips from here. Let me see what's going on at the bottom one. So the bottom one. It's pretty much this right here. So you slide it towards the front and you pull the lower one towards yourself and you separate them. But this whole thing is held by clips. Okay, that's it right there. All right, now we're gonna be removing the upper glove box. So once you get the center navigation system out, then you pull off the lower pad. And now you're gonna get to the same seven millimeter screws so there's kind of all around here um, this you don't have to unscrew it you can just unplug it or whatever you decide so basically there you go all around All right, so you actually have to remove this lower piece. Um, there's some screws on the bottom. So once you take this out, you need to pop, or you're gonna have to pop this out, this little corner, it's on clips. Then you take this out, and the screws are right here. So two screws. towards the back of the car and it's on clips these are seven millimeters all right so there's gonna be a plug for this light switch ours is already on plug that's kind of it right there it's kind of hard to record it so now we're pulling this thing out So there's a 
light switch. So it's held on by plastic clips once you remove the two screws in the bottom. So you just pull it towards the back of the car. Right, so once you take that panel out, there's gonna be, let me see if I could get it on camera. There's gonna be two screws. So the first one's right there, marked with the blue. And there's a second one right there. It's kind of tough to get it. Right there. All right, so seven millimeter screws, taking them out. So once you get those screws out. All right, so I forgot there's actually another screw holding it right here. So you gotta take the air, air vent out. And the air vent just pops out, it's pretty simple. And there's that seven millimeter screw. Finally got this out. So it's basically a lot of steps just to get this piece out. 